Welcome to the Sage Pastel Accounting How-To Video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to process the year-end in Sage Pastel Accounting. You would process the year-end when you have captured all of your transactions for the current financial year and you need to move to the next financial year. In order to ensure that your year-end is successful, please ensure that you have completed the pre-year-end checklist before the year-end assistant is run. If you are running in a multi-user environment, the year-end process must be run locally and not over a network. If the company dataset is being accessed from a map drive, the year-end process must either be run on the machine where the dataset is saved locally, or if you are unable to access the machine where the company dataset is saved locally, you will need to copy the company dataset to the local drive of the machine currently being worked on. In order to check if the company is being accessed locally, click on File Open in Sage Pastel Accounting. The Open a Company screen will display. Click on the company once to highlight it in blue and at the bottom of the screen, verify the company path, i.e. which drive letter is being used, C, P, X, etc. Now hold the Windows key and E on your keyboard. The Windows Explorer screen will open. Click on computer on the left hand side and look under hard disk drives and network location. If the drive letter falls under hard disk drives, the company dataset is being accessed locally and you can continue with the year-end assistant. However, if the drive letter falls under network locations, this indicates that the company is being accessed via the network and you will need to either run the year-end assistant on the machine where the company dataset is saved locally or copy the company dataset to the local drive of the machine currently being worked on. To process your year-end in Sage Pastel Accounting, firstly ensure that all other users have logged out of the company dataset and that all windows are closed. Next, ensure that you have made a backup of your company dataset before processing the year-end assistant. The year-end assistant cannot be reversed unless you have a valid backup of your company dataset. This backup will also be the backup that you will give to your accountants and auditors for auditing purposes. Please ensure that this backup is saved to an external source such as a DVD, a memory stick or an external hard drive. In order to process the year-end, click on Change Year-end. You will receive a message that preliminary checks for the year-end assistant may take several minutes to complete, based on your environment and the size of your company. If you receive the program state not responding, do not close Pastel as the checks are still running. Click on Yes and the year-end assistant screen will display. It will advise you of the importance of making a backup. If you have not yet made a backup, click on the backup button and follow the prompts accordingly. Once your backup is made, click on next. If you selected to use the 13th period to extend your year end, you will receive a message. You selected the option use the last period as first period of next year. Would you like to copy the last period budgets to the first period after the year end? Click on Yes and this will move all the transactions from period 13 to the first period of the new financial year. The Copy the Company to Another Company screen will display. Please note, if you are using Sage Pastel Express Startup, you will only have the option to not create a new company. If, however, you are using Sage Pastel Express Multi Company or Sage Pastel Partner, you will have two options. You can either run the year end by creating a new company called, or run the year end by not creating a new company. If you select to run the year end by creating a new company called, enter the new company name. You will then have the option to run the year end in the new company or to run the year end in the currently open company by not selecting this option. If you choose to run the year end in the new company, the new company's periods will be incremented by one financial year.
and the currently logged in company will be your company for last year. If, however, you choose to not run the year end in the new company, your currently open company will have its periods incremented by one financial year and the new company will be your company before the year end assistant was run. Make your selection accordingly and click on Next. If you select the option to create a new company called, irrespective of if you choose to run the year end in this new company or not, you will receive a message that Company X was created. To ensure that you do not inadvertently post values into the incorrect company, we strongly advise that you change the passwords. Click on OK. The print report screen will display advising you of the minimum set of reports that you should print. If you have not printed these reports yet, you can do so after running the year-end assistant. These reports are your trial balance, your income statement, your balance sheet, your customer and supplier age analysis, and your detailed ledger for all accounts. Click on Next. What the Year End Does screen will display advising you of what exactly happens when the Year End Assistant is run. Please read this information carefully and once you have read the information and understood what is going to happen once you run the Year End Assistant, click on Next. The Confirm the Operation screen will display. You can click on Back to change any of your previously selected options, click on Cancel to not run the year in, or click on Process. If you click on Process, the year end will run. Please note that depending on the size of your data, this may take some time. Please do not close your Sage Pastel Accounting program if you receive the program state not responding. Please wait until you receive the message, Year End Complete. Click on OK. You have now run the Year End Assistant and you will need to run the After Year End Checklist.